I know nothing about surpassing others. I only know how to outdo myself. Ubisoft dropped a bomb. More like an apology, but the internet doesn't take it for real. I want to shortly talk about and point out my thoughts on it. Plus, I want you to engage into the conversation to broaden up my perspective. I won't go too much into detail of the apology. You can check it for yourself on other videos. But basically what they said is that the game is not a factual representation of Japan's history and that it is a game in a fictional setting of feudal Japan. Then that the game is a work in progress and they now take the constructive criticism to try to change and adjust the content of the game. Then they are trying to take all the blame and they are asking not to let out the blame onto the internal and external consultants of this game. In my opinion, this apology has a bad undertone and timing. The statement should have came out right when the whole dilemma started. They should have stated immediately that the game is not historically accurate and only their vision or depiction of the Assassin's Creed story in Japan. It wouldn't have soothed the mind of the Japanese people, but it would have shown that they regret their mistake and are willing to make it right. Unfortunately, now it has a negative effect on this case. It just comes too late. After the huge backlash, now people think that Ubisoft is trying to save their product, the sales numbers and please the investors. And I know a lot of people have had already a negative opinion about Ubisoft. In the beginning, I was pretty neutral on that case, Ubisoft in general. But after my recent video about this topic, a lot of commenters stated good facts and valid opinions, and it got me more and more away from the neutral side to a more negative side about this company. What I like about the post is that they take full accountability for their screw up and trying to take the whole blame, because in the end, it was their final decision and not from those wrong advisors. I think those other people should be blamed and judged, but by different authorities and not by us gamers. Our understanding and knowledge of those academic things is limited and from sources that know it better. Adding to it, it is great that they are really addressing the apology to the Japanese people and not just to the general gamers audience. That shows at least that they are aware which national demographic they offended. So now my question to you guys. Is a company like Ubisoft, and there are many more companies that are forcing DEI stuff upon us or ignoring their audiences just for profits, redeemable? What does it have to take for you that you trust a company or a developer again and invest in their products? Or are they irrevocably damned and can't make it right anymore unless the whole direction of the company changes and new trustworthy people step in. I for myself believe in a good redemption arc, even when the company has fallen deeply into disgrace. But only once and only if I see that they are trying to get better and little progress is visible. In this case, it's hard because as I heard from you guys, Ubisoft isn't trying to redeem itself and countless chances were given by gamers. I am fairly new to this malfunctioning state of game companies and especially Ubisoft. So I would give them a last chance for improvement, how they handle the business and creative development. But they need to start now. Make a statement with AC Shadows. In my opinion, they could delay the game and work on all the points that rub the Japanese and non-Japanese people the wrong way. 
This could lead to even higher sales and maybe to a game that could compete with the goals from that one island. Of course, that would reduce the profit for now, but in further future would lead to happy customers, high quality games, and hence bigger profits. And Ubisoft's reputation would experience a soaring. Is it that all achievable? What do you think? Leave a comment down below that leads me to new perspectives or opinions. Just to be clear about it, I'm trying to see those kind of topics related to games and society from a neutral perspective. That's a benefit I still have because I'm new to the game. And for sure, there will be boring, uneducated questions. Maybe I'm going to provoke some of you or even offend. That is never personal, but more born out of my childish naivety. I don't like that some people, when they talk about those topics, are getting emotional or exaggerate the view just for attention. I am interested in the mashup of games and society, and that's why I kinda want to share my views on it, just to see if I can learn more or I am blatantly wrong. So I hope to see you in the next one and peace out.